today's the day. We are installing the eight inch entryway. thank everyone who helped me install this entryway. This is my brother-in-law Colt on the tractor helping me load the entryway. I also want to thank my dirt guy and his help for helping me install this entryway. Yes, I could have went and rented the equipment, but even if I would have done that, I wouldn't have had guys to run the equipment to get this all done in one day. So it is very, very much appreciated. It was way more efficient this way, better for the customer, better for me my dirt guy, everybody, just to have this all done in one day, and I just very, very much appreciate it. All right, we got everything loaded, we got her strapped down. It is the day before, so I will probably throw a tarp over this for overnight so the concrete doesn't get uh, moisture in it. We loaded the tank first, the water tank, now I'm gonna take my hose, run over here, fill it up with oh, about half full of water. I won't need all of it, but then we will be ready to go in the morning. So we're on our way to the job. I'm so pumped right now. There's just been a whole lot of work up to this entryway because I've been waiting on my dirt guy. I'm following my dirt guy right now. By the way, my dirt guy does not, he don't be, he's not on film. He don't like the camera. So I gotta be careful what I film of his. But it's pretty cool because he's got his, uh, what he calls a pinnel, pinnel hitch, whatever, dump truck with a pinnel, pinnel hitch with his trailer, with his uh, skid steer and his mini hoe in front of me. And then his, the guy that helps him is following me with the one ton with a 40 foot with the uh, stinger on it. There's a stinger for the skid steer. We're going to hook it up to the front of the skid steer, and that's what we're going to, after we build the entryway on the ground, we're going to lift it up with this stinger, little hootis, little uh, pole extension. So, yeah, he's got that on the 40 foot along with uh, the forks and the auger for the skid steer. So, and then I'm hauling the entryway, the concrete, water, and whatnot. So, it just feels really cool to be driving three trailers deep. I absolutely love it. Right out of the ground or break it. This part I did the ropes. Working her a little bit, push her over. Cut some ropes. I'm not believing that thing's fixing to push that thing over. What else it gets them ropes? Broke loose. The mini hose are powerful little things. Yes, they are. Big deal. 
So if you haven't seen the previous videos of this project, I actually built these parts at my shop. And in doing so, before I took it all apart, I actually marked where everything went. That way, whenever we put it back together on site, as we're doing here, we could go back in the same exact way that I built it at my house, just in case any of the saddles were slightly different and whatnot, because it's not a perfect world. And then the main thing that I focused on was making sure I had a 24 foot opening because I've already built my gates for this entryway. If you haven't seen those videos, those will be in the description also, but I've already built the gates. So I wanted to make sure that I had a 24 foot opening. Is what welding rod I used, I used 532 8010 and I put a filler pass in each one of these welds, brushed those off, and then put the same rod, 532 8010, one more pass around each one. That way it all looked consistent.
As far as the depth of our holes and what size of auger, we used a 12 inch auger and we went five foot deep on most of our holes. That's what, that was our goal was five foot deep. We definitely got five foot on the main eight inch entryway and that's actually what I was planning on because my uprights are 20 foot to the bottom of the eight inch horizontal at the top and so that leaves us with a 15 foot high opening which is more than enough for the majority of things that will be coming in and out of this entryway. I do recommend to customers no less than 13 and a half or 14 for several different reasons but one is a rock truck you know if you want to be able to regravel your driveway or whatnot. 14 foot of clearance is a good rule of thumb for an entryway. So one thing that I learned from my dirt guy on this project is when laying out your entryway or any fence that you're building along a county road, you want to check with your local county or city or whatever it is to see what the easement or the right of way is for the county road or whatever road you're working on. And because it may vary from depending on what state or wherever you live. So just keep that in mind whenever laying out your entryway and your fence. Some places are more strict than others. If you're out in the middle of nowhere, kind of like we are here, there's already fence that's on the easement or whatever, the county road easement. So we just made ours match and we made it square with the other fence across the road. But definitely check with the right personnel in your area when doing your own project.
My advice for this week is build relationships. Relationships and taking care of one another in the relationship is how this world turns. The only reason I was able to get all of this done in one day was because of a relationship that I had with this dirt guy. I'm thankful because I don't have any equipment and I see all the value in what just got done in one day because of the equipment that my dirt guy had and the help that he brought. So build relationships, take care of those relationships. A good place to start building relationships is in the Aros Welding Inner Circle. That's one of the many reasons we built the Inner Circle. We, as in Kayla, built the Inner Circle was for the networking part of it. And I wanted to invite you to the Aros Welding Inner Circle. You can go check it out. We'll have a link in the description. But it's more or less a place with other people just like you that are motivated to go somewhere with your welding career. The more people that join the Inner Circle, the more valuable it becomes. So I wanted to invite you. Also, if you're interested in getting any updates about the Aros Welding store or anything else and you prefer a text over email, you can text this number right here. By joining this community group text, you will get notified whenever a new product comes out in the store or anything else, anything new on the front of what Kayla and I got going on, you'll get notified. Come back and see us next Friday. We will be using the all famous circle burner to burn holes in these four inch uprights to put our cross members. Thank you all for watching and remember, learn something every day.